welcome all of you with the topic solution to issues relating to land use changes and ecosystems and biodiversity land use and biodiversity relationships the relationship between land use and biodiversity are fundamental to understanding the links between people and their environment biodiversity can be measured in many ways the concept covers not only the overall richness of species present in a particular area but also the diversity of genotypes functional groups communities habitats and ecosystems there as a result the relationship between biodiversity in its broadest sense and land use can be complex and highly context dependent the relationships between them are often two way so that simple relationships between cause and effect can be difficult to identify in some places specific land uses or land management practices may be important in sustaining particular pattern of biodiversity elsewhere the uses to which land can be put are highly dependent on the biodiversity resource present land use change and transformation in the way land is managed are key driver of changes in biodiversity at global national and local scales this diagram shows the relationships between land use land cover and biodiversity and the output of ecosystem services land cover is the physical characteristic of the land surface determined by both its biotic and abiotic features land use is determined by the purposes of active and passive management of land by people and non material benefits they derive from it biodiversity is a variety of ecological elements present in the place that is genes species communities and habitat etc land and ecosystem functions are the potentials or capacity that land and ecosystem had to generate useful outputs for people ecosystem services are the specific and final contribution that ecosystem make to human well being land use issues growing global population of human reduces biodiversity primarily through land use that converts fragments and degrade land cover human population growth directly affect the land use by demanding food living space and natural resources the specific effect on regional land use are modified by local human density local economy local technology and industrialization and local political system the three main land uses responsible for change in the earth land cover are agriculture which includes cultivation grazing irrigation and drainage extraction of natural resources primarily for forestry and energy production settlement which we define the use of land for human settlements ranging from rural villages to city this figure highlights the mutual interdependencies between the land cover use and biodiversity it provide a rich understanding of a link between biodiversity ecosystem services and human well being and help to identify the kind of trade off that might have been to be considered between services under different land management or land use strategies environmental impacts of land use changes land use and land management practices have a major impact on natural resources including water soil air nutrients plants and animals runoff from agriculture is a leading source of water pollution both in inland and coastal waters draining wetlands for crop production and irrigation water diversion has had a negative impact on many wildlife species Irrigated agriculture has changed the water cycle and caused underground water level to decline in many part of the world. Intensive farming and deforestation may cause soil erosion, salinization, desertification and other soil degradations. Deforestation add to the greenhouse effect, destroy habitats that support biodiversity, affects the hydrological cycle and increases soil erosion, runoff, flooding and landslides. urban development causes air pollution water pollution and urban runoff and flooding habitat destruction fragmentation and alteration associated with urban developments are a leading cause of biodiversity decline and species extinctions urban development and intensive agriculture in coastal areas and further inlands 
is a major threat to the health, productivity, and biodiversity of the marine environment throughout the world. Predicting the impact of land use change on biodiversity. Forest specialist species and species with a narrow ranges are disproportionately lost from the ecological communities when land is converted from natural to human dominant habitats. In particular, birds are highly sensitive to urban land use and the number of bird species declines as human population density increases. Overall, the transformation of habitats for human use is causing consistent reduction in species richness and changes in abundance in tropical and subtropical forests around the world. Predicting the biodiversity impact of future changes will help to inform future land use decisions and provide information about group of species that are poorly studied. A number of species whose risk of extinction has not yet been assessed by the IUCN Red List of Threatened Species should be identified as being most sensitive to land use change. Such could be used to make an early estimate of the impact of habitat loss on species for which there is little information. Identifying species that are not yet listed as threatened but could be with further land use change. Solutions Decisions how to adapt production towards being less harmful for biodiversity need to be taken urgently. Increased research efforts should be made to fill the knowledge and data gap to open the way to improve the accuracy of biodiversity assessment within land cover area and allow for more robust and credible decision support. Conservation should be initiated to prevent species from becoming endangered or threatened rather than begun only when their numbers have declined to a point where emergency protection and recovery is required. Ultimately, preserving entire ecosystems costless, give landowners, wildlife biologists and land use managers greater flexibility and reduce conflicts between conservation and economic interests. Linking state or regional conservation planning with local land use planning is one way to achieve a more comprehensive approach to habitat and biodiversity preservation. Monitoring and mediating the negative consequences of land use and land cover change while sustaining the production of essential resources should be a major priority of researchers and policy makers around the world. Conclusion The need to balance immediate human needs with biodiversity, conservation, social equity, biosphere integrity and long term human goals led the UN to propose 17 sustainable development goals that countries adopted in 2015 in an attempt to influence new sustainable development agendas for the next 15 years. Their general objectives are to end poverty, protect the planet and ensure prosperity for all. The aforementioned food security first and inevitable trade-off resources, although often portrayed as realistic fail however at providing convincing argument to answer the simplest but most important of all questions. How are we humans to achieve the sustainable development goal if we lose the biodiversity and the integrity of our ecosystems, both of which underpin our global economics, our well-being, the ecosystem services on which we depend for clean water, climate regulation or food production and the livelihood of those who produce it. Thank you.